Amid the tragic events unfolding in the Middle East, the horrific news out of Israel-Palestine and the rising debate over the voice at home as voters go to the polls this weekend for the referendum, some roll gold rorts fell under the radar. And those included the quiet approval by the regulator of the $20 billion takeover of Origin Energy by the tax haven scam artists from Brookfield. There was also the Senate coverage of the consultants' inquiry, the Big Four inquiry, the PwC scandal, and of course, the legal professional privilege scam thereof. We'll get to that in a moment. It is an elite, very high level, sophisticated scam pulled off by the big four, of which most people will not be aware, and it involves lawyers. And finally, there was the property deal of the century. The state government in New South Wales flogging Sydney land at $3.99 per square metre to a crew of property developers on the quiet. What a scam that appears to be. We can't say, it might have just been a lovely deal. In any case, the other thing which flew entirely under the radar this week was news from the energy regulators that the national electricity pricing was down 70%. That's wholesale. But this is good news. We don't usually trade in good news. This is a very exotic day. This is good news for everybody in Australia. It's such good news that it's almost a scam. That is, wholesale prices, which are about 30% of retail prices, are down 70%. There's a 12-month lag there before we see it on our power bills. But hey, good news for all of us because power bills will fall from their nosebleed levels at the moment from July 1 next year. That is unequivocally good news. It won't stop the scaremongering, mind you, over blackouts and so on. And the scammers from the horse and buggy brigade of science deniers chanting when the wind don't blow and the sun don't shine. That usual incantation from the horse and buggy brigade. But there is now compelling, more compelling, more irrevocable evidence that the revolution in cheap power from clean energy, renewable energy, is having a serious effect on prices. It's so much cheaper now than fossil energy, and it must be close before all the science deniers are gone. Now to the property deal of the decade. What's the scam with the New South Wales government's Landcom? This is a state government corporation flogging a hectare of bushland in Sydney, at Janali, no less, in the Shire, to property developers for $3.99 per square metre. Yep, they bought almost a couple of footy fields worth of pristine bushland for $41,000 only. Landcom won't talk to us, so we don't know what the scam is exactly, but they are hiding something. Perhaps it's just extreme embarrassment, but it looks sketchy. Now, the legal professional privilege scam, this came out this week at the Senate inquiry into consultants. It got some airplay on the Senate committee when the former PwC boss, Luke Sayers, who was running the show when the treason occurred, of course, he purports that he knew nothing about it. He's caught in that schism, which people testifying before Senate inquiries are often caught in, and that is looking like a donkey or looking compromised and dodgy. So there was a lot of I don't recall, as he was admonished by the Senate committee members, for not recalling regularly, not remembering meetings with Jeremy Hershorn, the tax commissioner, the deputy tax commissioner. He was warned about contempt by Senator Deborah O'Neill. It was a debacle, the usual thing we've come to expect from PwC, trying to look like they're telling the truth at Senate inquiries. Now, the one issue at hand here was legal professional privilege, and this is a scam. And we know it's a scam because the tax commissioners have, have been upset about this for years because every time they drag one of the big four's clients into court for tax evasion, they suddenly can't get their hands on any documents because the big four and their clients are saying, oh, sorry, that's legal professional privilege because a lawyer signed it. There was a lawyer in the room. And so it is over the last 10 years that the big four, PwC particularly, have been running around poaching lawyers from Mallisons and Freehills and all these firms, buying entire firms of tax lawyers so that they can stick them in a room whenever there's a deal done. The lawyers sign off on the deal. And when something gets to court later, the, the, the multinational company can say, sorry, we can't hand over the documents, Your Honour, because 
They're legally, professionally privileged. It's a total rort. And it's good to see the Senate get onto this. So it was a classic performance from Luke Sayers, blaming everybody except himself, as the senators found, while suffering convenient memory loss. But he walks away with the PwC with $30 million in his kick. Scam done, job well done, and his new firm, his new operation is still running government contracts, despite the findings of what happened to PwC. Perhaps the biggest rort, the biggest scam in Australian corporate history, costing billions to the government in taxes, in lost taxes. And this guy is still benefiting personally from government contracts. What a scam. Origin Energy, one of the three gen tailors, one of the electricity giants in Australia, the ACCC has just quietly, amid all the other news this week, approved the takeover. $20 billion takeover on top of the $20 billion that they spent, this Brookfield mob from the Cayman Islands or Bermuda, wherever their tax haven entity is, which is going to control these assets. So the government's just given them, just approved these tax scammers, more retail energy assets, more generation assets, coal, gas, renewables. And they're trusting that they're not going to scam the public with energy bills as well. They don't pay any tax, these guys from Brookfield. Why would they care about Australian energy consumers in the Cayman Islands or Bermuda? And why would the ACCC approve this deal when giving more assets to these guys allows them vertical integration with the assets that they already own? Now, the ACCC boss told ABC that it was because it would expedite the rollout of renewable energy in Australia. They've certainly been sold a pup there. And that's Scam of the Week. Thank you for all the support. Thank you. Please share, comment and like below. And we'll see you next week.